Hello, I'm Valentin Mandaji from Historic Houses of Romania or Casa de Epoca in Romanian and I'd like to present to you the Buzău Military Cemetery. Buzău is a town in southeast Romania and uh, it's host of one of the largest uh, military cemeteries in this part of uh, northern Balkans. What you see here is a memorial for the Second Balkan War in the 1913 and uh, right here a sector of the German army of the First World War uh, graves. The Second uh, Balkan War took place in 1913 and Romania uh, fought against Bulgaria allied with um, Serbia. The first uh, such war in 1912 uh, saw Serbia and Bulgaria fighting uh, together in Montenegro fighting against Turkey. It was a less bloody war for Romania, which uh, invaded uh, Bulgaria from the north and occupied Sofia, and afterwards uh, gained a chunk of uh, Dobroja from Bulgaria, called Kadrilater. Here is a uh, memorial uh, plaque panel uh, with the name of a colonel, perhaps one of the highest ranks. Who fell into the, in that war? You can see the year 1913 carved on the cross. The cross itself looks like a new Romanian style wooden cross. On the, the base uh, of this monument, there used to be other plaques, marble panels in the old times, decades ago, but probably they fell as uh, years passed by. Uh, the communist regime didn't really agree with that war and that could be another reason why those uh, uh, panels are missing. This is the uh, Romanian soldiers uh, fallen in the Great War uh, Oshwari and uh, right here in the background is the German uh, monument of the First World War fallen soldiers erected by the Wehrmacht in the late 1930s. Wehrmacht had a strong presence in Buzău. Buzău has uh, or used to have an important military airport from which the Luftwaffe could bombard, could bomb uh, southern Russia and later on after King Michael uh, switched the sides against the Germans they bombed Bucharest. Stuka's, Stuka airplanes took off from Buzov and bombed Romania's capital. And you can see that the two, the two former enemy armies in the First World War, the fallen soldiers, the monuments, stand now side by side as a kind of uh, epitome of the fact that uh, the war that do not have uh, uh, the meaning or the result or they, they do not have a, a reason practically. Uh, you can see these things in this juxtaposition here in this cemetery. Uh, the ossuary which is um, hosted uh, uh, under this uh, beautiful uh, canopy is for the Romanian soldiers from the Buzo County who uh, fell in this uh, the Great War between 1916 and 18. About 8,000 uh, uh, Buzo citizens fell in action. Uh, Romania entered the war in 1916 after two years of neutrality. This cupola is inspired from French military architecture, French war memorial architecture, and it also has some uh, new Romanian elements on it. Most of the graves, I mean about 60% of the war graves here are Germans. In Buzo, uh, the Buzo War Theatre saw most of German casualties in the uh, Great War in this part of Europe, uh, of Romania, of Northern Balkans. About 10,000 Germans uh, have fallen in uh, Buzau County battles. About 8,000 Romanians and another few thousand Russians. Russians were 
the Russian Imperial Army were the allies of Romanians at that time against the Germans. On this side, in the background, uh, are the graves for the Romanian 1989 revolution. Now we're going towards the German memorial. You can see the 1930s uh, triumphalist style, typical of uh, Nazi Germany or uh, Italy, Mussolini's Italy. It looks like an ancient rotunda, kind of uh, Valhalla temple. Uh, interestingly, no Christian references are um, on this memorial, uh, which is in tone with the ideology of Germany at that time, of rejecting uh, Christian heritage and looking more towards their German gods past. The cemetery was restored uh, by the German uh, World Grief Commissions in the last uh, few years with the help of the local Buzo authorities and also the Romanian army has a commandment here in Buzo. As you can see the material, I point here the material from which these uh, poles are made, they are from uh, local stone, it's a uh, Lumesheric uh, limestone, uh, seashell limestone, and the Germans use this wonderful uh, construction material. In contrast with the Romanian colleagues, with that, the other uh, memorial, which is made from concrete. Amazingly and uh, interestingly, the Germans uh, use the, this wonderful Buzo stone, uh, stone found in the, in the local hill here nearby called Istrica. You can see here, these are the Russian crosses. A bit different from the German ones, which are lower with uh, equal sides. And also the Romanian, uh, in the background, the Romanian crosses are there at a much higher density. Similar in shape with the Russian ones. Here are the German crosses. And it's a, it's a kind of different format. The others were Orthodox and here Catholics and Protestants. Interestingly enough, at the back of this sector of the German uh, plot, uh, there are Muslim soldiers. You can see on this uh, gravestone, you can see the Moon Crescent and some uh, Muslim names, Mustafa and the Turkish sounding names. My opinion is they are kind of renegade uh, former Russian subjects who defected to, to the Germans. Uh, Russia has an important uh, Muslim population and uh, quite often they defected to the opposing side when uh, uh, southern Russia where this mo many of these Muslim communists lived were, were, was attacked like in the Crimea war in the mid 19th centuries they defected to the Allies in the First World War as is the case here or in the Second World War many Tatars of Crimea or, or, or the uh, Pontic Steppe defected to, to the Wehrmacht and went all the way back to Germany with the, with the German army. Uh, as you can see the, the cemetery is quite well kept and uh, it's quite, uh, quite an interesting place to visit. Very evocative with this interesting architecture of the Romanian uh, soldiers' washery where the memorial for the German was quite remarkable, I would say. The crosses were obviously put in place after the Great War, sometimes in the 1920s, and they are made from concrete, reinforced concrete, and they need to be repaired and restored now. Again, these are Russian crosses here, and uh, there are some Russian names inscribed on the It's, it's one of uh, the places full of history, less known to the wider public or not known for most of the foreign tourists coming in this part of the world.